Hello, welcome back. I'm Johnny Boy 0056, and this is gonna be Desktop Farm, which is part of our five dollars or less game series. Um, Desktop Farm is an application that runs as the wallpaper on your computer desktop, and you run a quaint little farm, make some money, buy some things, upgrade some stuff, um, and expand right there on your desktop. Uh, right behind your desktop icons, um, passively, passively things grow. And when you have a few minutes, you come in, you make some adjustments, you sell off some things, you add an animal to the farm, you fence in something and, uh, you get back to what you need to do on the computer. So very interesting concept. Um, game came out just over two years ago. Uh, we're trying it out today. You can pick it up as you can see right here on your screen. I was able to get it on steam. And I was able to get it for $2.99, $2.99 desktop farm. So if I move Steam out of the way here, um, this is the desktop. This is what my desktop looks like now. You can see the taskbar at the bottom. You can see icons right here, fully functional desktop recycle bin, just so you guys uh, as a reference can see. So it doesn't look like it's uh, in, in in application or, you know, full screen game uh, to move. You just can hold down the left click. You can drag. And the map is procedurally generated. So you decide where you want to build and you go from there. Um, so let's say we like this plot of land right here. We can open up the menu. We got a full menu here. We can go ahead and select plow. And we can go ahead and start marking out some farmland. Wherever we're going to place our house. Oh, I can't do it there. That's interesting. Oh, I guess it's overriding that tree a little bit. We would have to pay to delete the tree, so I'm not going to. I want to conserve my money. But plowing is free, so we can plow the land. And anything we want to do, we basically have to plow the land first before it'll let us do it. So we've got a house. We can take our house. I'm going to put it on the far corner over here. And we're going to place it like that. So now we have our house our nice little house. We can select this. All right, just kind of center out the map a little bit, kind of right here on the edge of the water. That looks nice. Okay, so then we can actually start doing some planting. We can uh, plant some pumpkin. So we'll do two sets of pumpkin and we're gonna kind of plant everything here. We're gonna do some corn, strawberries, And then we've got wheat. And we've got carrots. And if you look, it'll kind of give you, like, I guess how big they will get. And then as you click it, and then it goes down to what you're going to have. All right. So we've got that going. And then we also have three tree types. So we can put pear trees. And we can put plum tree and we can put an apple tree. You don't really get solid confirmation on what you've clicked in the menus. I wish it would kind of highlight or, uh, you know, disengage or do some type of visual um, that I'm clicking certain things. Um, but either way, we want to make sure everything gets hydrated. So we're going to place a sprinkler here. And we're going to place a sprinkler. No sense in overlapping. We're going to place one there. We can always expand our farm a little bit. And I'll place one here to make sure the trees get watered for the sake of this, uh, this tutorial here. So, all right. So we plowed the land. We've placed the house. We've planted all the crops. You can actually click this arrow and you can hover and you can see uh, growth wise how well the plant is doing. You have a hydration level, which obviously should be at 100, being that it's getting watered from a sprinkler. And the value will slowly go up as it grows. All right, so that's that part. Um, we have we have animals, right? So we can, we can put some different animals down. 
Uh, we can build a little quick pen here. So let's go ahead and build a pen. And this one. And then a couple straightaways. And you have to select for each side of the square. You got to make sure you're selecting the right one. And then we'll go ahead and throw two cows in there. And it's now raining, so that'll be hydrating our plant. If we didn't have sprinklers, those would, that would be hydrating. And let's have a dog. Now, I don't know if I have... I, I would imagine I don't have to fence in the dog. There he goes. Oh, and he just kind of hangs out by the house. Look at that. Uh, this is... Okay, so let me click out of the animal button here. And then you have... Demolish. So if we need to break a sprinkler, a fence, or a road, we are going to have to pay 50 for each one thing that we want to demolish. So uh, you want to be a little careful when you're placing. Uh, when you're placing roads, um, you can do so, but you need to you need to plow the land that you want to build the road on. So let's say that we're going to build the road. So it looks like the road is free to build, but once you've built it, if you need to remove it, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you 50 per square. So let's say that we had the road maybe goes right up to the house. And then the road, maybe it'll go that way for the lake. Okay, I tried dragging. Dragging's not really working. I don't want to accidentally click something. Let me click out of... Out of plow for a moment all right so we can kind of put the road like that and then we can just say so we have blank road here we have roads with a line on one side we have like lines to show like the road turns and then you have like these little white dots in each corner of the road so let's say like the driveway right maybe would come out to there Anytime I do something where I'm going to move the screen, I click the arrow. I don't want to accidentally place something just because it costs a lot to, to undo what you've done. So it's not, it doesn't punish you. You can build roads, but then once you want to uh, undo that build, that's where it costs you because the demolishing is $50. All right, so like let's say this was like the driveway to get to the house. And then we could say... Um, we can put... The road with the line on that side. And just for visual, um, just to see how it would look, we could build, a let's say, a road here and here. So we could put the line like that. Let me go ahead and move so you guys can see. See, and then you could take the curve right here, the turn in the road, click that, and now it's got like a... Visually, it's got a nice curved line right there. All right, um, so we've got we've got the fencing. We've got a couple cows. All right, let's go check on our product. Um, see what we've got. Um, like this thing over here, where we couldn't we couldn't plow this because of this tree. All we would have to do is just go to the axe. But be aware that if you're going to do that. The axe is $25 to chop one tree. So if I click this, it's going to cost me $25, right? So if I say, oh, I need to get rid of this tree. Click the axe. And I accidentally clicked two trees. So I just lost $50. But you get the point. All right. So before you do anything else, I suggest go back to the arrow. We don't want to do something accidentally. So we can off the arrow. It's also the inspector. It allows us to hover over objects to see their stats, okay? So we can say, okay, so the wheat is growth 105. It's valued at $5. The carrots are at 44. They're valued at $9. So you can say, well, you know, how am I doing on, on money? So like the carrots, for example, you bought them. We bought them for $10 a piece, a $10 a square, right? So then by looking at the stats of them, so right now they're at $9. So if I... Well, I don't know. Let's see if we can sell them immediately. 
No, I can't even. It won't let me select them right now. So I'm I'm clicking. I'm hovering on the sale the sale bag. Right. Let me get rid of the fruit here. Sell harvest crops or sell livestock for cash. So if I if I wanted to, it won't let me. There's they're just not mature enough yet. Um, what you can do in game is the the daytime and nighttime cycles of the game are based on your computer's time. So if you if it's right now it's 3:27 p.m. for me here where I am, and in the game it is 3:27 p.m. It's daylight in the game. If you're on your computer in the evening, it has an evening setting. You can uh, actually, you know, the, the lighting will be different. What I did try, it did not work, was I tried to fast forward the days and I also tried to fast forward the time to see if I could basically get like an instant crop by just messing with the clock and the date and the calendar on the computer. That does not work. It'll cycle the day and night. So if it's nighttime in the game, I mean, if it's nighttime on your computer time, like 11 p.m., it will be 11 p.m. and it'll be dark. You'll get the visual aspect, but you don't get the game will not fast forward all those hours for growth. So the growth won't change regardless of what you do. So don't bother going and changing that because it's not going to change anything. So the idea of this is that so we, we, we started with a thousand dollars. We got down to 135. We built some stuff for now. We're growing some crops. We could put some more stuff and maximize, but for the sake of just learning the game and figuring things out, we are going to uh, back the menu out for now. And then you can see, you know, you can, you can explore the map a little bit, which you can obviously see how much, you know, over time you can build and build and build. And this is procedurally generated. You don't have to start on, on soil. You can always, you know, start on grass, just plow it before you put anything down. And, um, you know, you play for a little bit, you go do your work, you go do your schoolwork, you go play another video game. And when you come back, um, you know, you check on your stuff and when it's time to sell, it's time to sell, right? So that's where everything is at. Uh, so this stuff is all about growth, about 50%. Um, I've got the sprinkler set up. I don't know if the trees require like, well, I guess they do because it says hydration. So I guess they would require water just the same as any of the other crops. The Oh, you can rotate with with right clicking. Which is actually really nice. You can right click and rotate the map. Look at that. I just learned that myself. So that looks pretty nice. Then you can just left click. Because remember, it's still functioning on your desktop, right? You right click on the desktop, you still get your menus to pop up. But it's kind of doubling over that, which is really, really cool. So what I didn't want to do is I don't want to build too much road, right? Because then you kind of like, you kind of close yourself in farm wise. You know, it'd be cool to connect like two locations. You know, and ultimately have this thing built out. But we don't necessarily want to... We don't want to like build a square of road and then, you know, have that closed in on us. How are the cows doing? Uh, I think I need to put down, I think I need to put down some grass. S Satiation 98. So they're not, uh, okay. So, cause I, I have grass, plant grass for livestock to eat, but I don't know if that means... I don't know if they have anything to eat or if I actually have to plant that. Let me see something. Let me see if I plow. I can't plow. Interesting. Well, I guess. I wonder if this is too small and that I should have built it like four by three and had some area in the middle. 96, 99. No, he's... They're both at 51 growth. They're both valued a little bit more than they started off, so that, that's a good sign. 
And it does seem like they're growing because they're both at 52 now. So I guess that's fine. I guess it's just a matter of like if you had soil and you put down a, a, a live, you know, like a pen, then you need to place the grass for the livestock to eat then. But not in this case. I think we're okay. Uh, the other animals you can buy, you can buy a cat. You can buy a sheep. I wonder if you can put... I'm sure you could put the sheep in the same pen. But I don't I don't want to. Um can I put So it costs a lot of money. All right, just for the sake of seeing these things, I want to see I want to see what a sheep looks like. All right, he looks cool and a horse. Oh, he's a little pony. Look at the little pony. He's so cool. I am trying my scroll wheel. I don't seem to be able... I can't zoom in. I love the art style of this game. I think the the style fits a desktop very well. I think the colors are uh, neutral for the most part. But there's enough color there to pop. I also think that it's nice how... <laughs> that's a cool sound. Uh, how the trees... You know the fruit is the vibrant part, right? So, so if you're if you're not actively playing this as a game, and you, you know, you you go off for two hours and you go do something else on the computer, and you come back, and all these little strawberry plants are all with the bright red little dots, and the plum tree has all these purple plums on. I think the color visually is awesome, and I think many will hesitate to uh pick everything off and sell everything off, especially later game. So we could, we could plow more for now, but I don't necessarily want to do that either. Um, just visually, I like the look of the dirt. You know, I kind of want to only plant on, I only want to plow what I'm going to be able to plant on. Um, the game, the tutorial does tell you that if you don't fence in the cows, for example, if you don't fence them in, that they will wander. They will eat your crops. So don't make that mistake. You don't really want to let them wander. Um, what we could do once we get some more money is we could demolish, let's say, one side of the fence and build them a much larger pen. Maybe we could expand this out to the road so they're right on the edge of the road. We could go this way, maybe just give them a, a much bigger area. It looks like the game has in here these small little random creatures like little bunnies. And just something nice to look at. Um, if we scroll. So that's like an edge. That's an edge. So you're basically, you're limited to this. I mean, limited, but but not. I mean, imagine how long this would all take to, to com completely produce out. So let's get an inspector going here. The growth is at 58. They're valued at $12. No, I cannot sell. Oh, look, the, the wheat is ready. The growth, the growth is 194. Let me see something here. So the, when we bought the wheat, we bought it for five. Now, If we want to sell it, it's valued at nine. So we've almost doubled our money. I would imagine when it reaches two hundred growth, the wheat should be it should it should value it at ten. So let's let's just give it a second to see what happens, and then that's also good because we could plant more of it, knowing that it grows fast. All right, so now the growth is 200. It did not actually did not go up to value 10. I don't know if the growth is going to go past 200. It will. Okay, I'm answering myself as I speak. So we have growth at 202. I don't know what the growth number would be. I would have thought that it would have gone from 0 to 100 for all crop, but apparently not. Lettuce is at 59. Strawberries are at 60. Corn is at 71. 
pumpkins are at 61. So let's see if anything else is ready for harvest. Nothing else is ready for harvest. You can see the you can see the wheat. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and sell sell those and we've made our money. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead cuz it's it's cheap. I am going to plow so let's see, I can do I can do ten more squares. One, two. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I can't go there because the trees are hanging over a little bit. All right, so let's do this. Let's just go ahead and grab some wheat. And when we get more money, we will cut these down. Ooh, you know what I just remember? You know what I just realized? I should not have planted this one in the middle. Sprinklers are $50, and now I cannot, I cannot hydrate this crop. So I got a little ahead of myself, uh, excited about everything else, but it's okay. It's all right. We'll just have to let it be. It'll be, for now, it's going to stay hydrated because we've got rain, so it's going to hydrate, you know, to 100, but ultimately it's, it's going to, it's going to fall. The house, um, let me see something here. Growth zero, value zero, hydration 100. I'm not sure. I think the house right now is just a visual aspect of the game. I don't think it's doing much. Um, you can see how the game, it's supposed to be passive, right? It's not, it's not something you're supposed to be able to speed through. It's supposed to be a background thing. You kind of just let it happen. You know, leave the computer, walk away, go do something. Go get some go get some lunch. When you come back, you know, then you check on the progress. But it 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 definitely keeps you paced uh with the money. Um I would not have necessarily bought all of these animals and everything right out of the gate. Obviously that would not have been, you know, financially sound. We will be we will end up selling off animals. But right, I mean they're gonna take time. I wonder why his satiation is down to like in the eighties. Everything else is doing well. So yeah, there's no real undo button. You pretty much, you know, you're stuck with you're stuck with being penalized based on what you've decided to do. Once you make that decision, you're better off to think it through before you actually commit and click. It also looks like you can only build one house because now all I can do is move a house or demolish a house. So I can't, this is grayed out. I can't build another house. So you can't go around just slapping down houses uh, wherever, you, wherever you want. The corn's growing, the corn's growing very fast. The corn's growing, corn is 81. And the corn is valued at $24 right now. Where we bought it, the corn was $15. So it was a little bit more expensive. Not as expensive as the pumpkins, but, you know, I think ideally, rule of thumb is that the game will basically double your value, double the value of the uh, product. So we got our nice, tiny little farm, tiny little farm there. And we could go about our business, come back and see. 
Uh, they got also like a lake here. This is like a lake. I guess it's just visually. I don't think there's any uh, perk to it. Unless I'm, I don't know if maybe the ground is more saturated there than maybe somewhere else, but I don't see any indication of that. I don't think I can get an indication here with the inspector. I mean, hydration 99, hydration 100, but you're also talking about, I mean, everything over here. Well, now, now it's raining, so that that's going to go out the window. It does seem to rain a lot. It does seem to rain a lot. I'm not complaining. I think the noise is nice from the rain. Uh, I think... And I think it's it's a nice. It gives you a break from having uh. Like I forgot the sprinkler, so even though I forgot the sprinkler, we have a hundred hydration on all of these plots right now, so we're we're, we're growing very well. And I don't know. I guess you just kind of have to learn. To see when things like I, I think each thing will be a little different about when they're ready. I'm just hoping that the the little rabbits and everything. I hope they don't eat my. Like, do you think the rabbits are gonna come over here and eat my carrots? I hope not. Does my dog do anything other than just? Sleep on the porch? I don't I don't think so. Um I'll try something else here. Okay, so arrow keys. Arrow keys are doing nothing for moving the screen around. And WASD is also doing nothing for moving the screen around. So it is gonna be strictly uh strictly up to your mouse to get it right. All right, and in the menu, I think we've built and used everything the game offers here. I think we're just really just waiting. I think we're just waiting for the crops to finish so we can sell them off, see how they look as fully grown crops, and and then we'll uh, we'll probably close out this video. We can plant grass. We've animals. We've got every animal except for a cat, but I would imagine a cat's going to do the same thing as a dog. We've installed sprinklers. That's demolished. We've tr installed fences. We've installed roads. We've built a house. We've sold eh, a couple things so far. We've chopped trees. So yeah, we are... We've hit... Oh, and then let's look at the settings while we're waiting here, right? To cover the settings as well. You have... Uh, you can choose for it to start with Windows. So when your computer boots up, the game will boot up. Um... Stop on playing full screen games so that way you don't lose your resources, right? You don't, uh, your computer resources. Oh my god, look at the corn! Look at the corn, it looks so much nicer. Oh man, I like, I love the art style. I love the art style of this little game. Um, let's see what else we can do here. So, sound on. Oh, look, so you can, so you can just, you can focus the sound, you completely turn it off. So, if you don't want to hear, if you're like, no, that's that ambient sound is, is not nice, that's terrible ambient sound, you can just turn it off. For the sake of this video, we're going to leave it on. But I see you can focus it. I'm just trying to see if it's focused on... I'm trying to see if it's focused on where the mouse is or where the screen is. I'm not sure what it's focusing on. You can hear the cows, but they're kind of like off in the distance. We'll just leave it on as normal. Um, you can stretch it across. If you have multiple computers, you can stretch this across multiple uh, screens. Not multiple computers, but multiple monitors. You can stretch this across, get a better, uh, you know, play it across multiple monitors, get a much bigger view of it, which is pretty cool. You can run a tutorial, little video, shows you how to work it. Uh, if you've gone this far in this video, though, I don't think you pretty much need a tutorial. Uh, support, you can reset at any time, basically go back to scratch, start over. So if you if you're playing and you've spent your thousand dollars and you're like I hate this this was a horrible idea 
I put the road in the wrong place. I put this in the wrong place. Just hit reset. It'll take you back to zero. Give you your $1,000 back and you start completely fresh. You can pause the game to stop production, you know, stop produ production and uh, give yourself a break there. So you don't have to worry about that. And then you can exit the game, of course, anytime you want. So that's the uh, settings menu. Super simple. Super simple. All right, let's go back over here. I do wish that there was a zoom. That's the only thing. I wish you could zoom in and zoom out, but I understand why there's not. You know, it is a, it is a, just a wallpaper game, basically. So the corn is at 94. We, okay, so we can sell the corn at 94. The corn is sellable. You can see the greens are, uh, the squares are now green. So we would be able to sell that corn off without issue. What I'm also realizing is I think, I think that when I pick this corn, I, I think it remains a cornfield. Those two squares remain a cornfield and it just basically starts over. So you don't necessarily have to go back and replant, but if you wanted to change it to something, we're going to have to pay. We're going to have to pay to get that, those corn lots out of there and then put in whatever else we wanted to put in. So if we want to make this whole field a strawberry field, we would have to pay to remove each one, I believe. Let's. We're going to try that out. We're going to try that theory out momentarily here. I just wanted to see from the corn. We, we paid $15 to plant each square. Right now we're going to get $29. I would like to wait out to see what happens when it goes to 100 on the growth. And yeah, I feel bad for the animals. I, I should have I should have built out a little bit more. Gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to build out and then remove so they have uh, more space because they're they're kind of tight in there. So both these squares are corner at 98 right now. plenty of water so we're not i would imagine the hydration impacts the growth rate so if they're not getting watered i would imagine they grow slower than if they had gotten the sprinkler obviously there's a there has to be a perk to the sprinkler all right growth at 99 okay and we're already at we're at 99 we're already at a value of 30 dollars. so you basically double your money at least to a growth of 100 well 99 in this case now let's try something. Let's just cash in one square. And you see we made $30, right? Made our $30. But look, right away there's there's six green dots and the corn is back at 35 growth, valued at $11, and it is still corn. It says right here, this is still corn. So you can pick your pick your farm and everything will just basically come back. It'll continue to grow and come back. All right, so that's pretty much how it works. And then also you can see here because of this sprinkler, right? If I turn on the sprinkler, look, this sprinkler is watering these three of the wheat, right? Where whereas the rest of the the rest of the wheat is not getting. So this wheat is a hydration 100. These are hydration 86. This is growth 164. This is growth 164. But I would imagine at some point it's impacted. You can definitely see a color difference between the three that are getting hydrated and the nine or seven that are not. Because these two are not actual squares. So these, these are different color than these three which are getting watered. But statistically, at least at this point, I guess there's enough hydration in both that they're both growing at the same rate. So we're not really losing anything uh, there. All right. So that is desktop farm. Um, I like it. It was only $3. I think it's a great little game to run in the background, uh, run passively. If you're, you know, working from your computer or studying from your computer, it's something passive to do for those little breaks. It's pretty rewarding when you come back and you see the crops are grown and everything is flourishing. Uh, the colors are nice. If the horse is driving you crazy, just mute the game. I don't think the sounds are necessary. I think the animals are a little loud. I think they probably should be a little bit more subtle. 
but uh, these are minor things. For $3, I think this is a great little game. It runs beautifully. It's not causing me any issues um, while I'm doing this. And obviously, if you're going to run something uh, that demands all of your computer's resources, just shut it down. You know, close it out. It's not a big deal. And uh, and come back to it uh, when you're ready. It's a game, so, you know, you can, al you can always just come back to it. Guys, I hope you're liking the video. Um, you can check this game out on Steam. You can check me out. Uh, other videos I have here on YouTube. You can also check me out live. I'm on Twitch. I'm on social media. So follow me there. And uh, this is another game in our series, $5 or less. Something a little different. Something that runs in the background of the computer passively. I think it's a very cool idea. Um, hope you guys like the video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.